Hey guys, this is gonna be uh, just kind of a very basic video. Uh, what I wanna do today is talk about some ideas I have for the channel going forward and uh, hopefully get some input from you guys. Uh, when you have a YouTube channel with 130,000 subscribers, that is a resource and I've gotten many good ideas over the years from subscribers and I hope to continue to do so. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out a few plans and ideas that I have going forward. First of all, one thing that I've really been thinking about quite a bit is uh, ideas for improving uh, the production quality. Uh, first of all, some things I think that I can do um, fairly quickly, improving the quality of my maps. And really what I wanna be able to do is customize maps very much tailored to the exact thing I'm talking about. So like as an example, uh, this, this video I just did about uh, the Norman conquest of Sicily. Okay, so let's take that exact period, which uh, I think um, I ended things around 1085 or so. Let's draw the boundaries exactly as they were in that moment. Like, you know, what the Normans held, what the Arabs held. There are quite a few good options for that. In fact, uh, the guy over at Flashpoint History, um, very good YouTube channel, you guys should check it out. Uh, he gave me some good recommendations for that. Um, PowerPoint is an option. GIMP is an option, so I've actually started playing around with that um, in the last couple days, so we'll see where that goes, but that's that's something I really want to move toward is having some good looking maps, and also I want to I want to do the thing where you have the little triangles and squares moving across the screen, like to show troop movements and that kind of thing, so, uh, so that's one thing I'm going to look at. The other thing I really want to look at is uh, Possibly. I'm, I'm still looking into the copyright uh, issues surrounding this, but this this actually was a suggestion from a subscriber, Alexander Knight, who has been a longtime subscriber. He's uh, been a fan of the videos, so I appreciate that, Alexander. Uh, he came up with the idea of video game footage, like incorporating video game footage into, um, into videos. And this is actually something I've thought of before. Um, you know, this is an area where I'm probably pretty behind in comparison to a lot of other uh, YouTube history channels. I'm not a very big video game guy myself. Uh, the last time I was really into video games, I think Street Fighter 2 was popular. And, you know, as an eight-year-old, I, I did love that video game. But I don't play them anymore. It's been many years since I really played video games. And um, uh, But, as Alexander was pointing out to me, there are quite a few good... Uh, historically based video games that show some fairly accurate representations of uh, the medieval period, like according to the period. So like say if you want to do something about the Normans in the 11th century, if you want to look at the Crusaders in the 12th century, there are video games that have done something to kind of try and show that fairly accurately. So I'm going to look into to incorporating video game footage, and I may even buy one of these games. Uh, the one that Alexander recommended to me was Medieval Total War, and I did look at some of the clips that he, he recommended, and it's pretty interesting stuff. So, so I may be doing this. We will see. Uh, the one issue I am concerned about, of course, is copyright. So um, I will look into that, but what I have noticed is a lot of YouTube uh, history channels are using video game footage. And so this may just fall into the category of gaming channels. I mean, this is a huge thing with YouTube, obviously. I mean, much bigger than, than uh, history channels are. But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna look into that and I think there's, there's a good chance I'll be able to, to use some of that. Uh, thirdly, and this is something I've already started doing and you guys may have noticed, and that is incorporating more live action reenactment type uh, clips into videos and the thing about this is you have to find people that do this and I am fortunate enough to know some people who who are involved in this and one person I know who does this is a friend of mine named Sam a longtime supporter of the channel he has a group that he works with called uh, the company of little Dunmau and uh, I, I think that's how you pronounce it hopefully I didn't mispronounce that Sam but you can let me know but uh, really good group. Uh, they do kind of like, uh, I would say like 11th to 12th century type portrayals, you know, the chain mail, the iron cap. And uh, I actually recently had Sam create some clips for me, just like some very basic stuff where he, you know, he and some of his fellow reenactors were uh, uh, doing some brandishing of, of weapons and uh, creating some simple formations. and. These have worked out well. If you look in some of my last few videos, like the video about um, 
about Afonso I of Portugal and the Knights Templar. I used some of them there. In this recent video I did about the Normans, also some of Sam's clips are in there. So thanks very much, Sam. I appreciate that. So needless to say, based on everything I was just talking about, if any of you guys out there have any suggestions, any ideas, software recommendations, please let me know. I'm very much open to that. Something else I've been thinking about doing is um, writing a nonfiction historical work. Uh, so, so writing a book that's that's an actual history, not like uh, the historical fiction that I've been doing, um, you know, my novel, Why Does the Heathen Rage? And uh, a lot of you guys have messaged me and told me you've, you've read the book and you've enjoyed it, and I really appreciate that. Uh, but I'm thinking of doing kind of just, um, you know, to start off, I think probably what I would do is a, a basic history of the Crusades. And for me, I think what I would focus on is more of a narrative quality to it, focusing more on the personalities, uh, the human interest aspect of it, something that would probably fall more into the category of a popular history so that it would appeal to a wide audience to be the kind of thing that um, you know would maybe get people into history in the first place, get somebody uh, interested in the Crusades, get them excited about it, wanting to know more. I personally really like kind of the lengthy um, you know, slogging through the political issues and uh, you know, various social trends in history. Uh, not everybody's a fan of that. Some people want to get more of a story out of history, and I think that's, that's very fair. Uh, I love that too. I love that aspect of history as well. Uh, the, the personalities of, of those involved, kind of trying to bring those out, bring those more into focus. So I think probably my first non-fiction book would be more along those lines. Um, and I think, you know, based on the type of channel I've been running, uh, the type of stuff I've been researching all these years, I think it would be very appropriate to do kind of a very basic history of the Crusades. So, you know, something like kind of your basic 1095 to 1291 thing. So, so I'm thinking of doing that. And if I do that, what I'm going to do is uh, create an audio version of that book as I'm writing it. And... Um, I'm going to publish it on the channel. So I will publish this as a series of audio presentations on the channel. And then of course after that it would be available on Amazon too. So it'd be both an actual book and an audio book. And I think it'd be kind of a cool way to do it like this just because you guys could kind of see it happening as it's being written. Um, and I think obviously the final product would be different from um, you know what was being published regularly as I was writing it because I'd be revising it. But still, you guys would get a chance to kind of um, uh, you know follow along with the process. And I just think it'd be a cool thing to do. Um, an audio an audio presentation is very different than a visual presentation. So it's you know I've I've done both um, as I've been running Real Crusades history over the years. So there are different things you think about and different things you have to do for each one. So this would definitely be an audio focused thing. So I would publish it that way on the channel. So it wouldn't be like um, visual stuff to go along with it. So it'd be something to listen to. So uh, there's that, there's that idea. And then of course, finally, I want to just address the fact that I am finishing up um, this novel I've been writing about the Third Crusades, this historical fiction. Uh, I am very pleased with how it's coming along. Uh, it's been a lot of work, of course, you know, writing is always always a lot of work. Uh, I'm getting ready to send um, a big chunk of it to the people who I normally have uh, do proofreading and editing for me, so I'm going to do that, see what they think, and um, take it from there. But uh, I do think, you know, the Third Crusade, there's so much, uh, there, there's a lot of documentation. The source material is very rich, there's a lot to work with. Compared to when I was writing Why Does the Heathen Rage, which was set in the 1120s in the Kingdom of Jerusalem, we have a lot less source material of that period by comparison. So, so I had to do a lot more, um, you know, fictionalizing as opposed to, uh, you know, just laying out the history. And of course, anytime you write, um, you know, a work of historical fiction, yeah, it's it's a work of fiction too. I mean, you're also, you know, you're you're creating a a, a novel, you're creating a narrative in that way. But I have noticed with this book, as I'm writing it, there's so much more stuff from the actual source material that I can just plug into, and you know, um, you know, use that as the basis for scenes and for uh, you know, moving the novel forward, moving the action forward. So, so that's really good. 
So yeah, um, that's this is just a very simple video. I wanted to just talk to you guys about some plans for the channel, some things that I think will be coming up, um, you know, with uh, 2020 as we progress this year. And I'll just end here by saying thanks to some new Patreon supporters. I've noticed a few new people have signed up over the past couple weeks. So thanks to Jackson Stewart, Joe, Ryan Russell, Dale DeRosa, and Jordan Hampton. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the content. Um, as always, I, I love what I do. I love doing Real Crusades history. And I'm glad you guys are along for the ride. So I will talk to you soon.